Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Field Advantage Sports. Um, so I, I took a night off from the sports world last night, sort of. I came home and watched West Coast basketball. Um, I watched the Nuggets take a 2-0 lead over the Suns last night. I, I missed the, um, the Celtics 76ers game. I missed Harden going crazy. Um, the Celtics pretty much took their B team and went and won in Boston without Embiid, which was pretty awesome. Um, I went to the freaking movies last night. There was a mystery movie um, at Regal. Like, Regal does these mystery movies like once or twice a month or whatever. And it's something new that's coming out that's not out in theaters yet. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'll, I'll go see a movie tonight. Like, the Orioles don't play. So that that was, like, my thing. It's like, well, the Orioles aren't playing tonight, so I'll go see a movie. And it turns out to be this movie, Hypnotic, with Ben Affleck. And I'm like, oh, well, this might be good, you know. Get your popcorn, sit down or whatever. Like, cool, you know. Um, not my kind of movie. I... I just felt like it tried really hard. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody because it's not even out in theaters yet. Um, I usually like Robert Rodriguez movies. This one wasn't my favorite, but, you know, to each their own. I'm sure it'll be pretty popular whenever it comes out. It seems like something most people would like, but I'm pretty critical on movies myself. But this isn't a movie review channel. This is a sports channel. So I, I will talk about... Um, I watched... The Nuggets play the Suns last night, and it was a pretty good game. I mean, well, it wasn't a great quality game. There was a lot of missed shots. Um, not the best shooting. What was it? 97-87 final. Um, Jokic had 39 points. Um, he said he doesn't care about the MVP this year. That's what he said today. And last night he's pointing to his ring finger. So I think he's got his mind focused on winning the finals this year. Now, I did pick the Suns to go to the finals, and so far, in March Madness, and the NBA playoffs, and the NHL playoffs, I have been like the kiss of death, because I picked the Rangers to win the Stanley Cup after the Bruins lost and everything. I'm like, oh, well, now the Rangers are going to win. They go and lose to the Devils. And I even said yesterday, come back here today and make fun of me when the Devils do win. And they won 4-0. to zero. I like the, the Rangers look like shit. Patrick Kane was an absolute curse to their team. So maybe I should just keep my mouth shut. But I'm still going to make picks because, you know, I'm just in a bad streak right now. Like, I'm usually better than this. But I, I've been picking um, not my best here recently. But I know that I can uh, turn that around pretty quickly. It's just like when a hitter gets in a slump, baby. You don't you don't quit playing. You just you keep going after it, and you know. Um, I did pick the Suns to win this series. Uh, it's hard for me to be like, yeah, they're still gonna win when they're down 2-0, But I'm not turning my back on them. If the Nuggets do win this series. I'll take the Nuggets in the next series. I will say that whoever wins the Nuggets Sun series is going to the finals. I will say that. And I, I am picking Curry over LeBron James. So, that's going to be the one that turns me around. Curry, I have been picking the Warriors to go to the Western Conference Finals since before the playoffs started. So, I will pick Golden State in this series. That starts tonight. I am looking forward to that. Um, I almost picked the Sixers, and then I was like, oh, they can't do it without Embiid if he's not healthy for the whole uh, series. I hear he has like a small tear in his knee. So, yeah, I'll have to own up to it and stick with my Celtics pick. But I should have went Sixers because it looks like James Harden is going to carry in this series. I mean, it was only one game. He even said that to his teammates who were trying to celebrate last night. It's only one game. Um, the Celtics will still probably win the series, if we're being honest. But you got to give James Harden all the credit, man. He had an amazing game last night. So the NBA did not disappoint last night. Um... Kind of a letdown Game 7 in the NHL with the Rangers and Devils. I uh, was kind of hoping that would be a tighter game, but it is what it is. Um, I did enjoy watching you, like watching Nikola Jokic play last night. Tremendous player. Um, I, am, I would like to see him get a ring. Kind of shut up the haters a little bit. People that say he didn't deserve his MVPs. Um, he definitely deserved his MVPs. He had tremendous stats throughout the season. He's a great player. Imagine him. Like, just think of it this way. No Embiid against the Celtics last night for the 76ers. They have a guy like James Harden step up. They still win the game. Imagine the Nuggets without Jokic. They wouldn't be a very good team. 
I mean, they'd still be good. They got Michael Porter. They got Jamal Murray. They'd still be winning some games. Like KCP's pretty good and everything. Aaron Gordon's pretty good. But take away the ringleader of their team. Take away the Joker. They're not going to be as good. You know, they're more like a 42-43 win team. They're more on par with, like, like the Pelicans without Jokic, in my opinion. I mean, you put Jokic on that team, they're the best team in the West, record-wise, in the regular season. So, I feel like Jokic definitely deserved his MVPs. Um, you see the type of asset he is to him. You see he beat KD, Booker, Chris Paul. And I know Chris Paul got hurt last night and left the game and everything. But he's up 2-0 on him. He's putting up 39 points. You know, the Nuggets just simply are not winning without him. So, I think he's very valuable to his team. Um, arguably the most valuable in the league. Now, that's enough about the NBA today. We got the Orioles tonight. Um, had an off day yesterday, so that's why I ended up going to the movies and everything. But I am looking forward to the Orioles game tonight. Um, I'll definitely be flipping back and forth between that and the Warriors and Lakers. I mean, well, that game's on later, I guess, so probably not. Um, maybe at the very, well, I don't know. I'll probably just watch that after. But regardless, um... The Orioles have Tyler Wells on the mound tonight. Definitely going to want to see him pitch. He's tremendous, tremendous so far this season for the Orioles. I think he's arguably the best pitcher on the team. When Grayrod fully develops, Grayrod will be their best pitcher. But Tyler Wells, he's a beast. So um, I feel like right now T. Wells is their best pitcher. Uh, Ryan Yarborough, if you're an Orioles fan, you're probably familiar with him. He used to pitch for the Rays, used to see him quite often. He's pitching for the Royals tonight. Um, lefty, got some insane break on some of the pitches that he throws, but he's not some heater, some guy that's going to come at you with speed at all. So, you know, he throws his slop. But if the Orioles are patient like they have been all season, their plate discipline has been A-plus this season, um, I think they'll be fine. Just get to that Royals bullpen, all bets are off because, let's face it, Kansas City's not a very good team, and the Orioles are a pretty good team. So I feel like the Orioles, mm, they should sweep them. They should. The Jordan Lyles game is the last game of the series on Thursday. So, I mean, he's not having a very good season so far, but maybe he comes out and has a good game against the Orioles. I don't know. We should sweep the Royals. But we'll see. It should be um, it should be a good series for an Orioles fan. It might not be the best series going on in baseball right now. I'll admit that. But it will be a good series for Orioles fans as long as they go in there and do their job. Like they have been doing. The 15 and 5 in their last 20 games. Um, they should go in there and just beat up on them just like they did to the Tigers. You know, just like they did to the Red Sox. The series before that took two out of three at home. Um, I feel like the Orioles should be all right against Kansas City. But, you know, we'll see. Um, that's all I really have to talk about today. I think there'll be a lot to talk about tomorrow. We'll be talking about the Orioles game from tonight. We'll be talking about the Warriors-Lakers. That's just going to be a crazy good series. Uh, LeBron versus Curry one last time. You couldn't really ask for a better script or storyline or whatever you want to say. So I am looking forward to that. Um, I will definitely be watching that tonight right after the Orioles. It's just going to be fun. So thanks for watching my video today, everyone. Peace out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate all of you. Have a great day and uh, enjoy the games tonight.